All right, y'all, welcome back. It's Albert LaBelle. The lock we're going to look at this time is kind of a lock. <laughs> it's a uh, key lock box. Now, this is a Sherlock key lock box, not a life station. This was, uh, I, I'm guessing this was put on, I don't know if Sherlock maybe made a bunch for a company and they put this on there, but it's not that, okay? It's a Sherlock. It is a Sherlock SL200W four dial numbered key storage combination lock box. Uh, I know all that because, uh, not because I'm that smart, but I just found the same lock identical to this on uh, Amazon and they run about 25 bucks. You can still get them. Uh, so yeah, that's how I found all that out. So what is it? It's a key lock box. Well, you've probably seen these before. Um, if you have like um, property rentals and stuff like that, you would take the keys to the house that you want to show, put them in here, lock this to the doorknob of the house, and then you can give the people the, the number for uh, this lock box right here. They can come over, put the, the four, four digit number in there, get the key out, look at the property, put it back in, yada, yada. You get the idea. But I'm going to show you how we can decode these very easily. And then I'll show you how simple it is. Once you decode it and get that shackle open, uh, it's very easy to get into this. After that, I'll show you how. So first we're going to take, right now it's all zeros, so the shackle opens. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn this screw right here, change it to a number that I don't know, scramble it back up, and then I'll show you how to decode it. So let's do that. Let's rotate this screw 90 degrees like that. I'm going to turn it around so I can't see it. Rotate all the numbers to something I don't know. Scramble, scramble, scramble. No tricks here, just scrambling them up. I can't see them. Make sure all four are scrambled up real good. Okay, now I'm gonna make sure they're on a number so they click. Feels pretty good, that last one. Okay, now I can't see it. I'm gonna turn that screw back like that. Now we're going to scramble it up again. Oh, well, wait a minute. Actually, I'm going to lock it. Now we're going to scramble it up. Okay, so now it has a four digit combo that I do not know. We'll go back to the zeros that it was at the beginning. They all stop at zeros when you rotate up, by the way. Okay, so it's locked. Now I don't know the number to any of this. Okay, so what we're going to use is one of these, Peterson. Uh, Sparrows makes them, Peterson makes them. This one happens to be a Peterson. These are very thin, what they call, uh, I think they're just called knives, if I remember right. Uh, seven thousandths of an inch, okay? These things are thin. So what we do is we just take these, go down on the side of the wheel, and what we're going to look for is kind of a little cut on the axle okay you're running this thing across basically let me grab something uh like this right here we'll call see that's the axle okay all your dials are on this axle we're going to rotate each number and we're going to sweep this across the axle until we feel a little divot in the axle you're going to feel it the, the the edge of the knife right there kind of dig in it's going to click into place that's where we're going to stop at each wheel. And I'll kind of try and show you that. So we're going to start at this end and work our way this way because it's easier for me to turn them with my thumb. Okay, so one at a time we're going to rotate them. Sweeping the knife across that axle. I already feel one right there, so that one is... Okay, so that's a... Well, is it a five or a six? It's a uh, five. Okay, so I can feel. Let me see if I can. You hear that? It's going to click right in there. You hear it? That's what we're looking for on each wheel. So onto the second wheel. Oh, that's already right there. So that's a. That's a four. Hear it? Next wheel. There it comes, so I can feel it. 
That one's on nine. Hear it? Last wheel. Here it comes. One. Okay. Hear it? So we got one, nine, four, five. 1945. Now, check this out. The shackle's not going to open. Well, why is that? <laughs> well, here's the trick. So now we have them little cutouts, if you will, or divots in the axle all lined up. So we want to take each of these wheels. I'll start over here on the right because it's easier for me with my fat finger. We're going to rotate each one one digit at a time. Okay? Click. 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 Nothing. One. One. Easy. One. One. Eight. Seven. Two. Four. One more time, maybe. All right. Eight. Three, five, zero, nine, four, six. There it is. That's how easy that's done. So first you line up all them little slots on the axle and then just rotate. Make sure you rotate them all one at a time. So keep them all, uh, as you just seen me do it. So, uh, that's how you get the shackle open. Now, how do you get that key out of here? Well, the way they design these is this lock box is three digits off of this number. So if I did this right, and I hope I did, now we can lock this back up, okay? To get into here, we need to rotate each one of these three times. So let's try it. One, two, three, one, Two, three. God, it's hard to do with my finger. One, two, three. One, two, three. And we got the house keys. That simple. But yeah, these knives, these little thin knives, these are awesome for locks like this. Uh, they were designed for locks like this, like this, and then, of course, the Master Lock 175, which we do a different way, but that's how you would do that. That simple. So, yeah, there it is, the Sherlock SL200W uh, key lock box. These things are very handy, but what happens is, and uh, I've been contacted by someone before to ask me to, um, how to do these because uh, they have rentals, and what happens is, you know, um, if you have a lot of properties, you might have several of these and eventually you forget what the combination was and they were throwing these things away. Okay. You know, 20, 25 bucks a pop. Some of them are even more expensive and they couldn't use them after they lost the combination. So, uh, you know, if you just pick one of these up and learn how to do that, you know, with this video or another video, uh, you can save yourself a lot of money and, uh, not throw these things away. Okay, because again, they're very handy. So there it is. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope that helped out. Uh, listen, if it's not yours and you weren't supposed to get into it, don't do that. Okay, leave it alone. Uh, but yeah, thank you all so much for tuning in. Remember, if you're not subscribed yet, you need to do so because all the cool people are doing it. If you want to see more cool stuff like this, you got to subscribe, man. All right, thank you.